On the site previously occupied by a brick tavern, Senator Nicholas Van Dyke constructed this house in 1820 for his son, Kenzie Johns Van Dyke. While Senator Van Dyke designed both this house and his own, you'll notice that architecturally they are very different. This building represents the transition in American architecture from the Georgian style, like that of the Amstel House, to the federal period's Adams style. This transition, which began around 1795, attempted to retain some of the classical elements of the Georgian style, while also embracing increased simplicity in design. This building features the now familiar Flemish Bond brickwork, but besides that, this house demonstrates a more simplified facade, without the belt course between the first and second story, or a water table, which were both features present in the Amstel house. The house has three bays with the door positioned to the side, which is an example of how the Adam style moved away from symmetry. This house is also best remembered for a wedding that took place within its walls, the wedding of Senator Van Dyke's daughter, Dorcas Montgomery, on October 6, 1824. On that day, the wedding had a revered guest in the Marquis de Lafayette, who gave Dorcas away to the groom, Charles Irénée Dupont. Auguste Labossier, secretary of General Lafayette, described the 1824 visit to Newcastle with the general and the wedding in this way. The nuptial ceremony, which was performed according to the rites of the Reformed Church, interests us greatly by its affecting simplicity. It took place in a salon in the presence of the two families and a few invited friends. The minister of the gospel, before he united the young persons, addressed them in a short speech, in which he clearly and without mystery explained to them the duties now imposed by their situation in society and spoke of the virtues which alone might contribute to their happiness as a married man and the father of a family to whom the practice of them had long been familiar. At length, having united them, he offered up an affecting prayer in the English language, in which every art appeared to join because everyone was able to understand it. In spite of the absence of costumes and decorations, this ceremony appeared to me quite as proper and quite as imposing as the Catholic marriages. Lafayette was granted honorary U.S. citizenship in 2002. 